Okay, Shalom, Shalom. Kwam Yasha Allah, Koholoimala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwath. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, you know, just wanted to just share one of the most loveliest creations of the Lord, man. Snow. I always love snow. It's snowing right now. I'm going to keep it real quick because it's kind of a uh, that wet type of snow. But, um, you know, just wanted to just show it off, man. You know what I'm saying? One of the Lord's uh, beautiful creations, man. And grab a couple of scriptures or whatever on it, you know, because snow is very important. I know a lot of um, regions, they don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see here. Come out here into the alley real quick. You know, I live in one of them neighborhoods where <laughs> it used to be super duper nice. But as time has rolled on, you know, um, Esau cut a lot of services and a lot of stuff has been broken down. And there's a lot of vacant houses, a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying now. So, but I mean, you know, it's peaceful, though. It's a lot of <laughs> I mean, I, I can't say it's peaceful. But again, this is one of my favorite seasons right here. Um, so let's grab a quick scripture. Uh, just grab a couple of them. I just got a few. And again, like I said, it's wet out here, so it's like that wet type of snow. So I don't want to mess the phone up. We'll get something in as quick as quick as we can. But as you can see, it's just frosted over. We pretty much got a storm going on. Um, it's pretty slushy. It's not the really the type of shit that you want to get out here and drive in Especially if you got a rear wheel drive because you're gonna get stuck <laughs> You know if you don't know how to do it if you don't know how to maneuver in it, you're gonna get stuck You don't want to be sitting you want to kind of be rolling. But anyway, let me um get Job 37 I love the snow though, but you, it's a lot of it's gonna be a lot of people getting judged out here in this shit Because people don't know they, they don't slow up. They still want to try and act as if it's clear. But this is um, Job 37 and 6. It says, for he... Let me see. Let me start at... Uh, let me start at verse 5. It says, Yahweh thundereth marvel marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend. For he saith to the snow, Be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain... And to the great rain of his strength. See that? For he saith to the snow. Matter of fact, let me get it in the NLT, the New Living Translation. It says, He directs the snow to fall on the earth and tells the rain to pour down. And that's a hey, the rain is beautiful too. That's another thing. You know what I'm saying? But as you can see, like it's just and this happened, all this that you see right now, this didn't happen within the, the past hour. It didn't even take that long. And it's only going to get, you know, this is going to be where, you know, a lot of power lines are going to come down. Um, you know, pretty much a lot of people not going to be, you know, pretty much ready for that. Because generally these power lines, as you can see, that snow, it gets heavy on it. And every year when it comes like that, it, it, it weighs on it and it, 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 you know, knocks down power lines. And then, you know, of course, people are out of power. That's why they're talking about generally, um putting power lines underneath the ground which will make more sense to me hell they got every goddamn thing else running underground you know but let's get another one job 38 and 22 like i said yeah just landing on the screen so hopefully i can get this done before let me see let's start at verse 21 knowest thou it because thou was then born because the number of thy days is great has thou entered into the treasures of the snow or has thou seen the treasures of hell of the hell which I have reserved against the time of trouble against the day of battle and war. So the Lord, he uses this type of weather, uh, you know, in battle and war. That's the reason why, you know, you got Esau. Esau, he done created the heart machine by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shemiah, on the left hand side. 
He creates his own snow. He creates his own weather, his own rain. You know what I'm saying? Like Esau is, that's, the, that's how we know that Esau is Esau, the so-called white man. See, he gives himself away. He actually, when you go into Psalm 60, 60 um, what's that, 64? He tells on himself, you know, with, you know, in, in so many ways. He tells on, him, on himself. Uh, Salakia, yeah, it's getting a little, it's getting wet on me. Let me hurry it up. 64 and 8. Yeah, the screen is getting a little hard to move, scroll. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And that's what um, is going on with Esau. See, Esau, he tells on himself just by him having the type of machinery that he has. Just by him using a sword, the, you know, the, um, the bombs that he has, the, um, you know, his, his uh, nuclear warfare, his submarines, his, you know, he shows that he's the man of the weapon. He shows that he's the man of the sword. He's telling on himself just by showing you the few things. He'll show you a little bit, but you know, Esau, Esau got some shit. You see what I'm saying? Well, let's move on. Because like I said, again, I don't want to stay out here too long. Like I, uh, Let's get 147. Psalms 147. Oh, man. Yeah, the screen is doing its own thing right now. Uh, Salakia. Where was we at? Let's see. Back up a couple. Psalms 147 and 16. And I'm going to end out here in a sec. Yeah, it's getting harder. i got to wipe the screen, Salakia. And 16. He give it snow like wool. Let me start at 15. He sendeth forth his commandment upon the earth, upon earth. His word runneth very swiftly. He give it snow like wool. He scattereth the hoar, the hoar frost like ashes. See that? The hoar frost. You know, like um, you see a brother, they got a beard and it looks white. It's called hoary. You know, in, in America, they call it gray or they call it, um, you know, silver or whatever. But in, in, in the scriptures, it's called hoary. See that? You can hear the sirens now. There's people out here getting in accidents. Fucked up because people don't know how to drive in this stuff. They, they, they don't know how to take their time. They still want to fly, you know. Okay, but anyway, let's go to um, Psalms 148. I only got one more after this one. It's lockier. Let me start at verse 7. Praise Yahweh from the earth, ye dragons, and all the deep, all the deeps, fire and hell, snow and vapor, stormy wind, fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts, it's lockier. beasts, and all cattle, creeping things, and flying fowls, king of the earth, and all people, princes, and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, and old men and children, let them praise the name of Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. See that? That's snow, baby. One more, one more. Let's go to Isaiah. Salakia. Oh, man. Get jammed up on me. I don't think it's going to let me do it. I may have to end on out. Up, oh, up, oh, here we go. Isaiah 55 and I want to get, um, I think, let's start at verse 9 if we can. I'm out of here, though. I'm going to go ahead and be walking it on back down towards the, the way here, the alley here. Yeah, man, the Lord is cold. This is beautiful. And it's not as cold out when it happens. That's That's one thing, too. It's not so cold out when it when it snows. It gets colder and it freezes over. That's the bad. Well, I ain't gonna say the bad thing. It's a good thing too, <laughs> you know. But um, well, let me start here. Verse eight. For my thoughts are not. Let me see. Yeah, let me let me just start at um, verse eight. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. For as heaven. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, my thoughts and your thoughts. For as rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, because it's not going to return, but what water, but it but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud. 
that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. See that? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whether I sent it. See? And that's talking about the snow. And, you know, because the snow and rain, it, it comes down to cleanse the earth. Now, this snow right here, you know, it's a beautiful thing because what it does is, the Esau, he flies through the sky and he tries to do his thing with, you know, his, you know, you know, he, whatever he's praying. Now, this snow does bring that shit down here and it, and it lands and settles in the earth. You know what I'm saying? Now, as it flushes out, does it flush completely out? Nah, I can't say that. You know, but look at the cat running up the alley right there. I don't know if y'all see that. <laughs> hey, it's a bunch of cats around here, man. They don't be having nowhere to go. They be, they, hey, they do, though. They'll find somewhere. And if your engine is warm on your car, they'll climb up in your engine, man. You start your engine, all you'll see is damn fur, you know, coming through your um, vents, man. You, that engine, that blade be to hit their asses, man. But they trying to find somewhere warm to go. But look at it, though, man. It's beautiful out here. You know? I'm just going to end out there. You know, this is just, you know, a little alley spot. See? That line right there already hanging. That line right there is way too low to be hanging. See that? This, this that damn line is the height of me right now. See that right there? All this stuff right here that's off these poles. All these, all these, all that shit going, you know, it could easily fall. So, you know, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shemiah Messiah, I'm prepared for it. Um, you know, we don't want it to happen. But if it does, see, this is the type of stuff that we got to deal with in, in the um, north or the midwest type of deal. And um, that's why the scriptures, well, you know, we, you know, you got the scripture where it talks about um, praying that um, our flight is not in winter nor on the, on the Shabbat, on the Sabbath, because trying to travel in this right here, this, this, a, um, you know, um, the, the Gadites, though, the so-called, you know, the, the um, so-called Native American Indians, a, they are um, experts at um, traveling in this shit, at least in this area, because we near Canada, we got a street that's called Woodward here in Detroit, and that whole street, it goes back to a place called Pontiac, you know, you got Pontiac Trail and all that other stuff, but I think it's on the on the list of um, one of the um, you know one of those famous streets like Brodeo Drive. But the so-called Native American Indians that was their route that they traveled back to and from, and that's not a short route. It's probably about a good 30 to 40 mile route. You know what I'm saying? As far as from one area from downtown Detroit down through to Pontiac, you know, but they covered these trails man you know what i'm saying out here in this type of weather and, and know knew how to hunt and and kept warm and things of that nature so the so-called native american indians the gadites they're in canada that's you know it's just across the river you know you can walk into canada from here really it, it, it's not too far from detroit you know you go to the bridge you know they got a tunnel and all that good stuff but they do have um places where the gadites are at you know, or, you know, so-called Native Americans, Indians are at, and they know how to survive in this shit, you know? Because like I said, look, I mean, these were all houses over here. All this shit is clear because of, you know, look, all these are lots. From this house right here, all the way through, you can see all the way through, all the way through, all the, that was like, that was like fucking eight houses over there. Over here, same thing on my side of the street, houses. So it's like Esau's kingdom is falling, man. The houses was blighted, you know, a bunch of shit, you know, motherfuckers getting raped and pulled in the crib, you know, pulled into these abandoned homes and getting murdered and they burying out, burying people under, you know, just debris in the house and nobody's checking. So they had to tear them shits down. But this is open land. So if we were to get out here, and I'm not going to front, like right now, it's, you know, I done been out here for a little sec. It's colder. My fingers done got a little bit um, on that tip. But, you know, hey, beautiful, though, man. Like I said, you know, I, I, I love it. I'm just, you know, just showing off, you know what I'm saying, you know, one of my favorite seasons, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, uh, yeah, how about Shimmy I was shy. I ain't going to front. I like summer and all that other stuff, too. But I've always liked this snowy season, man. It's um, And this is uh, one of our first major snows right here. I'm, 
you know, since um, the year that started, you know. So it's beautiful. I love it. You know what I'm saying? That's just me walking through the alley up a couple of lots. And, um, you know, hopefully we get through this, this thing and the power lines don't fall or nothing like that. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me a solo.